Race 7, play.tabonline.z.za. Phillies and Mays, 84 handicap, has been won by number 9, Silver Lynx, the daughter of Silvano, Richard Free aboard. And uh, Richard, she generally shows a bit more pace, but you, f you found yourself at the back of the race. Did you want to be there? No, I think my draw caused me to be there. Draw 9. I seem to like the draw. <laughs> um, but uh, I couldn't panic, you know, so she jumped out a bit sluggish. Uh, I gave away a really good position where I couldn't really keep it, so I um, ended up at the back. Um, they didn't go fast at all. I was a bit concerned, but uh, I thought I made the right sort of moves. Played my cards early, um, and then you know, coming just straight, I felt like I was sitting with a pocket full of aces, but I was kidding. <laughs> um, you know, so she rolls and she enjoys it. She's still a weak filly. Um, I just think over time this filly it's going to be really fun to ride those 2,200 meter races and plus. Um, yeah, just I know there's not many of them around, but it's going to be a fun filly for the next two years, three years maybe. So, well into the All State team, great day. Mr. Boats and Gina, thank you so much. And then to my sponsors at Winning Form. Well done and a good day, Richard. Thank it's you. Not finished yet though. <laughs> well One <done>. more. <laughs> Next up, we're going to chat to Justin Snaith, the conditioner of number nine, Silver Lynx. And I specifically asked Richard the question, do you think you were too far back? Because <laughs> watching the race, oh, it's a lot to do on a, on a day like today. Yeah, look, I thought he was a, definitely out of his ground, but maybe a little bit too confident. Uh, but he made a move at the right time, got there, and it was, it was lovely to watch a fight at that uh, finish. Especially being such a young horse, who sometimes forget that she's only three. Uh, and uh, it's probably a good time to just start looking for certain races uh, because she's just, it's just, she's got so much uh, uh, stamina in her pedigree. It's not often we manage to get off uh, Moritz Fontaine and uh, Vilgebros. Uh, you find the right words that they, they, they breed such stout, beautiful horses. And it's very nice when you get one like this because when you start getting over the races over ground, um, they just have that edge. Uh, they bred out in, the, in you know, in tough conditions where it's uh, the whole idea is raising horse the right way so really well done to them and to all the partners here it seemed like there was a lot of pressure I was quite surprised I arrived here I thought she ran well but everyone was like oh that's the banker and that'll win and I was like okay <laughs> she's a very young filly and she duly obliged and ran a cracker and just really well done to David um, to Greg and Gina I can see David upgraded his partners in this horse he didn't have Wayne Meeling and Etienne in here but you know Etienne's son did go to Bishop, so don't forget that. <laughs> and uh, really well done to this partnership. Well done, Justin. Next up, I'm going to chat to uh, both, well, all the partners can come and have a chat to me, not a problem whatsoever. David, you uh, let MJ know that you prefer this partnership, and this is a great place to be with a partnership in the winner's 100%. box. 100%. I mean, you can see by the result that the partnership is probably a big upgrade. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, we're very happy, and well done to Greg, to Gina, and all the other partners that went here today. Um, very happy, very nice horse. Spilly's doing us proud and I think she'll go on. It sounds like she will, so hopefully lots of improvement to come. And uh, Greg, off air, everyone was commenting that the saddlecloth number nine is spot on with your silk, so it seems lucky. Yeah, that's definitely, and we've had a few with the, with the number, number nine fortuitously, so I have to go and see what we have on, uh, on Saturday. I haven't <laughs> thought about it until now. Well, thankfully, it's highlighted. This filly, as Justin said, she's still quite a filly that's learning and developing, so exciting times to come ahead. Yeah, we think so. I mean, I think there's going to be a few few decent races for her, some, some black-type opportunities, I think, for her. I mean, Silvana, you've got to take your time, and uh, she's really coming you know, coming into her own at the right, at the right time, so very exciting. Well done for the win. And uh, Gina, you. if I can just chat to yeah. you lastly, with regards to MJ touched on leading up to Saturday. So this is a great step for, for you, not only as a person, but also in the partnership leading up to what's going to be a brilliant day. Yes, we're very excited for Saturday, um, the ladies race especially. It's going to be an iconic race and we can't wait to see what the day will bring. Well, hopefully this sets the tone for your race day with regards to ownership and... Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> not only for Saturday, but for the whole year. <laughs> Absolutely. Well done. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Well done for the entire partnership. It's a brilliant win from the daughter of Silvano, number nine, Silver Lynx. As mentioned, she was bred out at Vilka Drift and Maritzfontein. Well done to the balance of the partnership, not on course. And uh, Richard for riding and uh, lovely ability shown with her rattling home from last. Not easy today, but she duly obliged and won a fantastic race. So noted down, Justin said that uh, she's only developing, so a nice filly to follow.
Yeah, Vicky, very nice win from the favourite there, Sean Veal. You got a little bit unlucky and myself and Grant were nipping a bit because your filly was really finishing well and it proved that she does stay. Yeah, you know him, she does stay. And that was also like a stepping stone for us. But she was very unlucky. She should have won today, but it's fine. I'll go back to the drawing boards and then I'll be here to fight another day. A type of run where it obviously showed that she stayed and then it was a bit of a soft run because also ran across you in, in the running and she finished it off well. So next time she'll be quite hard to beat. I agree with you, MJ. She'll be hard to beat next time. Just have the similar run race and uh, pick my right spots. Today I was a little bit stiff. I got caught on the fence with a full little big action and one or two guys running in front of me and cost me. But it's fine. I'll be here to fight another day. Mr. Dry is also starting to run well now. Yeah, you know, they've taken a while to settle in and uh, they're coming. They're coming. So I'm very happy with that Phillies run. It's Sean Veal, just in Broadway girl. He certainly is having a nice season here in the Western Cape. Mr. Dry is also starting to to really um, finishing their races off and, and doing well. And what a winner that was for Greg Boards, uh, Justin Snaith, we interviewed them, interviewed them before and they were a little bit nervous and that just showed. Let's go to the replay of race eight.